today's show we're taking a look from mcfarland toys dc multiverse frankenstein stay tuned welcome back guys and before i begin I will take this guy out of the box in a few minutes, but I just want to share one quick little rant and then we'll begin with the review. Look at all that plastic. With that said, let's get this guy out of the box. Hello oh guys, welcome to Red Pill Animations. I'm your host, Red. And if you saw in my rant, right before I started filming, I wanted to go over with you the Frankenstein figure, but I wanted to share with you in case you haven't noticed, we're paying money for a mega figure from McFarlane, but we're not getting other than the sword any extra hands, some punching hands. And that's fine because these hands look like they can punch and we get the typical accessory. Now, what I'm going to post after the video, after I upload the video, what you guys didn't know is that McFarlane circumvented. DC's mandate for not putting the gun that comes with Frankenstein, his steampunk gun. Well, guess what, guys? The gun is actually in the ammunitions or munitions pack part two of McFarlane. You'll see it there. And I'm going to put a picture of this when I upload just to let you know and show you that the picture's there. The only reason I came upon it is because I did my research on this character before I did the video. He is part of the uh government agency called shade um i think i said that correctly and i couldn't find where he was in justice league dark so if you guys know where to find him there let me know so with that said guys i want to give out a big shout out real quickly and we'll jump right into the figure to everybody who has recently subscribed thank you so much that means the world to me thank you i also want to say thank you to couple of subscribers out there who have literally told me the honest truth and said, I'm subscribing to your channel because you tell the truth or you're an honest guy about what you're saying. And again, guys, I want to repeat it to all of you. I know I sound like a broken record. This channel is not about the collector. This channel is about the animator. And I'm not affiliated with McFarlane. So you do see that I pay for my own figures and I criticize because it's my hard earned money just like yours. And I have to critique. And one of the things that I critique about McFarlane is that he's always whining about, look how much plastic. But had he made the case, which we saw at the beginning, smaller, we could have gotten some out of that plastic, some extra hands. But I've said this before. But we're enough of, of that. Let's jump in because I got to tell you guys, you have to get this figure. This is one solid piece. I'm telling you, the the way they constructed this figure it's a little bit limited in the articulation for your animation um so you know you're gonna have to finagle it a little bit but i'm gonna tell you guys that it is one giant solid piece with that said let's get that housekeeping out of the way as usual we get the mcfarland stand dc logo as you can see it's not needed and believe it or not when i was preparing to throw the video i did throw the sword and it just so happened that it landed on him on there but we do get the sword and according to frankenstein uh bragging i think to superman is that this sword came from the hand of the archangel michael don't know how much truth there is behind it we'll have to see if if uh if frankenstein's full of shit or not and excuse my language we'll separate that we'll show you how it goes later and for some of you that like the artwork that's great i prefer the toy photography because it gives you ideas of how to set up the background or what they did but man this is just exactly like the box the back of the box it's the same and you know what i've been doing guys with these mega figures some of these um illustrations or source material i've actually been cutting them out and framing them that's how much i like it and here's the story sorry guys i got a new phone and apparently it doesn't want to focus in on the lettering so let's see how we do this
Okay, I got it to focus. Never mind. I got to finagle the uh, the thing. But here you go. So here is the dude. Let's take a look. And man, I got to say, look at that. The details and sculpt on this figure is just amazing. And when you hold it in hand, this thing feels great. The sword goes here and we'll, we'll see that a little later when I do the articulations or no, when I do all the uh, accessories, I believe, and guys, you know, I do watch other videos and Shardimus said that, and nothing against the guys. So I don't, I don't want you guys to think that I have it with him on the contrary. If it wasn't for him, a lot of us, he opened the door for us to do this as a hobby and enjoy what we like. It's just that he is right on what, what he said. He's got that experience. You know, I like to take the figure and try to articulate it just so I can show you that I didn't mess around with it or did anything. But he did say something in his live video that as a reviewer, you should articulate it right before you do the review so you can get an understanding. And he's right. I started messing around and I found that this was very stiff. So I had to take a little bit of a blow dryer. There's not a lot when it comes to this figure, but when you hold it, there's a lot of heft to him. Just love this this is kind of like that circus ringmaster type of coat or best on it kind of reminds me of the beatles I'm not trying to say i'm old but uh i just i think i gave you my age where i'm confused and i'm gonna have to rely on you guys if you have it does this ankle thing work or is no it's one solid piece so so look at that look at the texture even the jeans he's got those uh faded on jeans type of thing it looks like a jean material it looks like cotton the skin on it and it's a frankenstein with a conscience look at that so let's get him he was standing before and of course you guys love those bloopers whenever they fall because i'm real so you know let's make this guy look like an idiot while he's reviewing now i don't know what's wrong with the feet and i'm gonna pull them for a second guys just for a second so i can try to correct the feet i think i think they went with this boot not the typical frankenstein monster uh type of boot but look at that man look at that detailing look at that man i'm loving the new iphone uh when something's not in shot, you press on the screen and immediately it focuses in. This is just, man, I've been blown away by this thing. And just so you guys know, one of the things about this channel is that the entire channel was is not filmed on a DSLR or any type of uh, mirrorless camera or, or digital camera. It's all been on my iPhone. Everything that I've edited, all the shows, have been on my iPhone. Obviously, the last one was on my iPhone 12. This is now the 14, which I just got. And I'm, and I'm really, really stoked. And that's one of the things that this channel is trying to push, that we're trying to be innovators when it comes to animation, where we're pushing the technology, especially for uh, smartphones. So give me just a second here. Let me get them in shot. So. Here he is. And again, guys, I can't begin to tell you how great this looks. But McFarlane, you could have given us some punching hands. Again, I'm not going to keep beating a dead horse. Let's take the sword. Let's put him behind him. See what's going on here. Wow. And that, and that just fits awesome. And he looks amazing with that sword there. Let me put him here in the back so you guys can see. Look at that. That's just amazing. Man, this just, I can't. So if you guys know what issue or what omnibus, where is he that he appears in the Justice League dark, leave me a comment. Let me know so I can get it. For me, this is going to be my muscle and my intelligence because he is a very smart guy. I saw the one where he fights Superman, but not really. I don't want to give away too much, but he is an intelligent guy. His powers is not only uh, the strength that he has, 
but he um, can control electricity because of the bolts next to him, and he can tap in because of shade. They upgraded him uh, into any network. And so I want to add him into what I call my Flashpoint Justice League, where he teams up with Thomas Wayne. Uh, kind of like a, a combination of Justice League Dark and Flashpoint, creating my own Justice League for that. So let's jump into the articulation. So let's take a look at the head here. We're going to focus in on the head. Now, you do get that up and down there. Look at that. You do get that side to side and very hard 360. Now, we do get a T-pose, guys. You get that T-pose on there. You do get a bicep swivel, but I got to loosen it up again. There is no bushing in there. There is a bicep swivel. Only one single joint. And as you can hear it, it's on that ratchet system. So you only get one on there. Shame. You get a waist articulation. You get, whoops, Frankenstein here destroying my, my set here. You get that much of a crunch, as you guys can see here. The diaper is kind of soft, but not really. It's kind of reminiscent of the old uh, way of, uh, of the action figures. We got the McFarlane mechanism. That's what I call it. That's the nickname I call it. Surprisingly enough, for such a big figure, we do get uh, double jointed knees. Now, where I'm struggling is the leg. So it is on a ratchet system. It does go up and down. It is molded in. However, the boot itself, this part right here, uh, the ankle doesn't swivel. Um, it's just the boot and you get the toe articulation. So that's why I've been having trouble trying to stand him up uh, because the swivel is actually on the shoe or the bottom part of the boot, but not the entire figure. Again, McFarlane figures are top heavy. Uh, once you get this guy standing, he's not moving, but if you don't get the boot correctly, it's going to give you a hard time, which has been giving me right now. So give me a second, guys. Let me stand him up. I, I, I really don't feel like dealing bloopers. So. So again, guys, oh, I didn't show you. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I'm just excited with this figure. It does fit on both hands, the sword. But I believe that the grip on another hand is much better for the sword. Exactly. So on his right hand, you get a much better grip of the sword. As you can see there. So overall, guys ecstatic to have this figure let me know what you think in the comments and if you like today's show guys go ahead and hit the like button hit the bell to get notified and like a lot of you've been doing subscribe to the channel tell me what you think tell me what what you want to see share some comments with me i love the engagement you guys know that i've always told you that and it helps the channel big thanks to a lot of you guys like i said before or if i said it uh, big thanks to a lot of guys for subscribing, telling me that I'm up front and I'm an honest guy. I try to be because I'm a customer just like you. I'm not getting that YouTube dollars. I'm not getting any sponsorship from any of these toy manufacturers like other channels do. That whine that they get their toys free, but they always find a flaw in them. Instead of discussing that with the toys, they put it on camera. So with that said, as an animator, looking at the figure, it is a beautiful figure to have as a background. There's not a lot of mobility on it, but it can be worked. I've seen guys do miracles with, with a stick. So whoever said it can't be done, it could be done. So this is Red. I'm done with the part of the review. Me and Victor, that's what I'm calling him, even though he's called the Frankenstein. He did go by on another issue as Victor. Me and Victor, we're done with the review. So we are out.